Hey guys, so as you can see right here, I'm getting ready to render the video. And again, I'm just getting prepared. I'm sure somebody's gonna wanna see this computer working um, with Magix Vegas Pro 18. So we're gonna go, the video's ready. It's um, about uh, 11, uh, close to 11 minutes, maybe I'll say. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try to render it. So this thing keeps going out of focus. So render as, when we in Vegas, render as, and I don't think I got this set up yet where I actually, um, nope, I don't, so don't mind. Um, I think it's this one. So favorite, 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 and then let's try to do 722 just in case. If you guys can see it, sorry, I'm, it's hard to record well. So 720 at 30 frames per second. So those, that's, I'm adding those as favorite. Uh, nope, I don't want none of this. So usually I go on here. Now, there's people that know way more than me on this. So I'll ask for your help. If any YouTuber uh, knows about the rendering, like I know there's one that has better compression where I, I could run it, render at 4K and the file will be way smaller. Right now for 10 minutes, maybe I get like five gigabytes um, of video. Um, that's the size of it. So like I said, if anybody knows a way that I could render at 4k and still get like maybe two gigabytes, you know um, So it, it'll be less bigger. Um, let me know. Please drop it at the comment. That will be helpful to me um, I have a lot of things in my Sony Vegas. I'm sorry my magic Vegas um, I have mocha the new one. I have magic bullet um I think I haven't added nothing more right now because, of course, you know, it's, these things are expensive. But, um, so we're going to go here and we're going to only show favorites. And we're going to do this at 4K. And we're going to save it to, no, don't want that. So we're going to be saving it in videos. And maybe I'll just do it right here on title. So here we go. And we're gonna render and see how it does. Let's see what happens when this CPU, is it gonna crash? Sometimes it does crash still, no matter what. Um, close this. Let me try to open everything for y'all so you can see it. So right now we're rendering a 4K, okay. It's using 96% of the CPU. Um, just, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, it's using six gigabytes of memory. So you see why you have to upgrade the memory when you're trying to render uh, 4K and stuff, because it does use a big chunk of the memory. So if I would have had that eight gigabyte, um, it would have probably been a little slower. It would have been eating almost all my memory. So I couldn't, basically multitask I couldn't open this and 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 other things because then it will probably crash so that's why the more memory the better so again we upgraded this one to 20 gigabytes and um if you didn't see that video I'll try to leave a link at the description or I try to um, put a link at the at the end of the video so that way you could go back and um you could see actually me upgrading the RAM on this this PC and again, it's the Acer Aspire 5. That's the, the PC that we're doing here. So again, just wanted to give you a quick video on, on, on how it runs with Vegas. I could put a flash drive in here. Um, I, depending how big the project is, you know, I got a 64 gigabyte flash drive. I could insert all the files from this, put it in the flash drive, take it to the computer in the, in the room, and, and save all the files to that. And then I could just run um, Vegas Pro from that project and, and I could continue editing as long as I have saved my project. So it's, 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 it's nice. This this laptop here, they gave me a great deal, $400. Uh, built, I think it was on April 2020. Has the new generation i5, 10th generation. 
um, uh, base um, speed 1.6 gigahertz, um, turbo speed 4.2 gigahertz at at one core, one core. But if it's the four cores or or goes into hyper threading, it's still 3.9 gigahertz, which is awesome for a computer, man. 3.9 gigahertz. It's fast. I'm impressed with this computer. I'm impressed what it could do with, with Vegas Pro. Again, definitely you need to add RAM to it. See, it's using five gigabytes of RAM right now. CPU is using 93% of the CPU, but I that might be maybe one core or two of it. But it's still, I could, with the bigger RAM, I could um, multitask again, you know? So that's why you need to upgrade definitely your RAM. Um, I'm running the small M M.2, whatever it's called, SSD, the little stick. It's uh, 512 gigabytes, and of course, I'm going to be adding the 2.5 um, SSD at 512 gigabytes. Actually, it's a 500 gigabyte, but I'm going to add it, so I'm going to have two where I can save some projects into the other drive. But awesome, awesome computer, Acer Aspire 5, and hopefully if you didn't see the review, um, and me installing the RAM, I'll try to put a link or at the end add a link and you guys could go back and see me installing the RAM and showing you how great it looks. Um, actually watching 4k on YouTube in this computer, but nice, nice for $400. I'm happy. I'm happy. So guys, thank you again. Hope you enjoy. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. You know, we're almost what? Three hours in elapsed two hours, 30 minutes in. Still rendering peacefully. It's using now like four gigabytes of memory. 97% um, of the process and 96, it jumps back and forth. But again, um, we're here rendering a 4K with Magix Vegas Pro 18. And we're using the Acer Axpire 5 computer with the full HD display. And it's been, it's been wonderful. So, um, I also, I've been on installing programs and installing, also running the, the antivirus software, the, the one that comes with Windows 10, and no problem. I've been surfing on the web doing all this while this is going on, and no problem. So, does it work with Vegas Pro 18? Yes, it does. And does it work good? Yes, it does. So, again, I got this one for $400. They gave me a deal. Runs great. You guys have a good one.